All right, this is a very special day for me and my family. So this is the last stop before our whole ministry goes public. There's been two years since we moved to, from Brazil to Australia to make this thing happen. When we came here, we thought the best thing we could do is to help people find their purpose. Because I believe if you find your purpose, you'll be happy. And we've created a bunch of things. We've created programs, videos, workshops, content. But today is the last test. So we had a group of friends that came together for this workshop. We call it the Purpose Discovery Session. Um, we got this group of people together in the room and we talked about anything from identity to purpose. I wanted to show you how my day looked like. So here we go. That's my day when we have a workshop on the list of things to do. Uh, I started my day obviously doing what I do best, shaving my head, as you can see, it's very shiny. <laughs> Shaved my head, did the beard and all of that. And then I went into my office. Every time I have something important to do, I try to spend a quality time with God, just praying, just soaking what I'm going to do in prayer. So some people might not, might not like that idea, but that's what I was doing. I was just praying and, and sort of tuning in with the Holy Spirit, asking that God will use this moment to create a change in people's life. And then there was a um, bit of prayer, bit of music going on as usual. Uh, normally my prayers are all about uh, thankfulness. So I'm just thankful to God for all this, you know, thankful for everything. Thankful for my family that have helped me carry the weight, uh, wife and all of that. So after that, I was supposed to do uh, food for the event, but my wife generously volunteered to do it. So you can see her doing all of this cooking and preparation and the food was all devoured during the workshop anyway. So that was cool. And then we had to rush out of the house because we were running out of time. And most people don't understand this, but the workshop was scheduled for three o'clock and this is 12 o'clock and I'm trying to rush out because I had to be here early, set it up and just, just the joy of having my daughters just excited, eh? excited about the workshop as um, they were. Yay! <laughs> uh, after that, we drove to the location. Uh, all of the food uh, they I, I had to stop to buy some things for the workshop, like notebooks and, and things like that. And then we drove to the location. Location is beautiful. We are at New Life. It's a church in Robina in the Gold Coast. And Chelsea, which you guys don't know, she helped us organize this whole thing. So the reason why it looks beautiful is because she's got her special touch. You know, that's what we did. We we set it up. We we put the chairs out. Uh, here's Jordan, as always, setting up the cameras, behind the cameras, and he's making the magic. I call him my magician. He makes all this look like it's beautiful and excellent for you guys. And then we started the workshop, and the workshop we talked about, like I said, everything from identity to purpose. Uh, we talked about the years after this option, and we are, we are trying to run this uh, workshop in a way that it will turn into a program, a whole day program in person. It's going to be beautiful. But apparently everyone had a good time. Uh, we had some breaks in between and I wanted to finish this with the things that we talked about in a nutshell. Obviously, you won't be able to watch the whole thing here, but it's all available in our community. You can just go to my website, pedroonpurpose.live and you can sign up for the community there or you can see where it's available. We have all of the sessions available there for you to add value to your life. But we talked about, initially we talked about identity. So we covered the importance of understanding your identity and not just the personality. We spoke about personality tests the difference between the Enneagram and the Myers-Briggs. One covers identity, the other one covers personality. The first one is internal and it's foundational. The second one is external, it's a projection. Uh, that was a beautiful discussion, really, really good. I really encourage you to do some of these tests if you can. Uh, it adds value to you and don't stop on the personality only. Just go for the Enneagram. Uh, you can click on this card right here. It's an interview that I have with the Enneagram specialist, one of the best that I have ever interviewed. And it's an hour long, but you can have a lot of content out of there too. After that, we talk, we spoke about the seasons of life. I love that topic. And again, I have another video that talks about the seasons of life from 20 to 60. If you click on this card right here, you can watch the whole video, but it's basically telling people that there is a season in life for you to try things, a season in life for you to figure out things, a season in life for you to become a specialist. I don't believe the generalists will make in life in our day and age. I think you need to become a specialist, you need to carve in. And then there is a season in life for you to teach others to do it. And obviously, as we went into the concept of the blue zone, which is another thing that I'm passionate about that helps you live on purpose. And again, you can click on this video, right? It's it. 
sounds like I'm a library, you know, I've got all of these videos. Like, uh, anyway, you can click on this video here for the Blue Zone, and then it teaches you how to build your own Blue Zone. But when we talked about the Blue Zone and the idea that we are living longer, that longevity is part of our reality now, uh, these seasons are kind of changing. But, you know, reality sort of hits at 20, and then you, you have between 20 and 60 to sort of feel it out. And then we spoke about what you do and how to get there. We talked about career paths and, and getting at peace with the concept of if you're going to work for a third of your life, maybe half of your life, you might as well find something you enjoy doing. Why would you do something you don't enjoy doing for half of your life? That's a waste. You will sleep for a third of your life. You work for another third. You might as well find something that you enjoy doing. Now, here's the magical question, the million dollar question. How do you get there? Personality tests are one. Um, Enneagram tests are another one, but nothing beats experience. So if you volunteer yourself to work for the people you want to be with and you want to be surrounded by, that's a good idea. And then we finally spoke about purpose. Purpose is my passion. Uh, the, the concept of the Ikigai, it started in Okinawa, that little Japanese city. It's also present in the Blue Zones, but we went for about 20 minutes talking about the Ikigai and how to find your purpose. The combination of what you love, what pays well, what you're good at, and what the world needs. I like to emphasize the idea of what the world needs. That's legacy. That's how you transcend. That's how you make a change in the world. I don't believe you came here for nothing. I don't believe your life is in vain. I believe you were created to leave a dent in the world. You have to shock the atmosphere. Gravity needs to shake because of your life. So if, if nothing like that is happening, something's got to change and I, I firmly believe that so we spoke about these four areas and how to put them together the little exercise that I give to all my students um, we don't have time to run through the whole thing here and then we finally had some Q&A I think the richest form of content is about Q&A Q&A is you know questions and answers and you might not necessarily answer all the questions but <laughs> at least we um answering uh, at least we're hearing the questions and we're bouncing off each other and we're learning as a community. So we had some interesting questions, uh, very deep, and you might see some of the content available there. And now we are recording this voiceover so you can know how my day went by. And here are the people who are making this happen. I always do that. They never like it. They hate it. So there you go. That's Chelsea. There you go. Put the light on her. Boom. That's Chelsea. She's the designer, make it all happen. And that's Jordan, the magician behind everything. Look. And there's Lachlan, Here's one of who's them. part of our community yeah, and there. might be one of our writers pretty soon. You never know when we start launching books and releasing books and all of that. <laughs> and we need the light pack. All right, cool. Let's finish with this. If you're interested in learning more about your purpose, because I believe if you find your purpose, you find life. You can always be happier. Everyone can use a little bit of more happiness in their lives. So if you're interested in knowing a little bit more about that, you can go on my website simply pedroonpurpose.life. That's it. Right there, there's a form right in the beginning. It doesn't cost you anything. You fill out that form. You will get my, news my newsletter. You'll be informed of everything that's happening. And hopefully, if you're really interested, you will jump into the community and you get to enjoy all of these things that we do in person or online. It's a pleasure to have you there. It's an honor to count on you. And I really hope you understand this message that we're trying to uh, bring to the world about purpose. Find your purpose and you find life. That's it. I'm out.